When this multi-talented artist puts out something new, the world pays attention. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from Childish Gambino's Feels Like Summer video. You can feel it in the on a day like this, I feel like summer. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most noteworthy cameos, interesting moments, and hidden messages in this animated music video. Number 10. Lil Uzi Vert and Zendaya getting braided by Tiffany Haddish and Oprah Every day gets than the one before. Honestly, we're not even going to pretend to have all the answers about this video. Like This Is America Before It, Feels Like Summer is a nuanced piece of visual art jam-packed with powerful imagery and a whole lot of room for interpretation. But that being said, seeing two powerful women of color from two generations, Tiffany Haddish and Oprah Winfrey, braiding the hair of Little Uzi Vert and Zendaya is almost too good. This moment creates a sense of community across the spectrum of celebrity, touching on television, comedy, film, and music. The link? These figures are all breaking down barriers. Side note, there is some debate as to whether that's Kehlani and not Zendaya. Number 9. A Dejected Kid Cudi when this Cleveland rapper first broke onto the scene, quickly being taken under the wing of Kanye West as his prodigy of sorts, he established himself as one of the most unique and inspiring new voices in hip-hop. In the years following the release of his debut studio album Man on the Moon, The End of Day, he's been through a well-documented and public battle with depression and substance abuse. Considering the tough journey Cuddy has been on, it seems fitting that his animated counterpart's quick cameo shows him standing in the darkness, visibly upset. There is comfort, however, in Childish's accompanying lyrics of suggesting that he too has struggled. Number 8. An Homage to XXX Tentacion This is one of the brief scenes that likely went over the heads of many viewers the first time they watched the video. Alongside numerous instantly recognizable rappers and other public figures, Florida's Democratic gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum isn't exactly a household name. Yet, anyway, nor does an association with ice cream immediately come to mind. Eagle-eyed internet sleuths, however, have noticed that the distinct color combination of the ice cream looks a lot like the late rapper XXX Tentacion's trademark hairstyle. And given that XXX hailed from the state of Florida, that makes sense. And as race relations are an ongoing issue in Florida, melting white-black ice cream represents that divide. Number 7. 2 Chains Taking a Pick of Pusha T, Lil Wayne and Meek Mill Talk about a photo op, but what does it all mean? Pusha T and Lil Wayne have a history of feuding with one another. Should we take this to be Meek Mill acting as an agent of peace, bringing people together, in the wake of becoming a symbol of criminal justice reform after his release from prison? Considering his previous collaboration with 2 Chains, the duo could be seen as emissaries of peace and unity, at least in the world Gambino is creating. Or is it just a cool grouping of hip-hop stars? Number 6. Beyoncé Honoring Fredo Santana no all-star lineup of modern African-American music icons would be remotely complete without an appearance by Queen Bee herself. Beyoncé steals the spotlight in just about any outfit, but for her animated cameo in this video, she's outfitted in a loose-fitting crop top adorned with the words R.I.P. Fredo Santana. Santana was a Chicago rapper and also a cousin of Chief Keef. He died in 2018 from a fatal seizure, likely related to excessive consumption of cough syrup, also known as lean. Though Beyoncé and Fredo are not known to have worked together, Beyoncé is universally acknowledged as an icon in the music industry, and so it makes sense that she would mourn the loss of a young creator. Number 5. Will Smith Washing His Car Redditors and other sleuths quickly identified a sly reference in Gambino's Summer Jam to the 1991 track, Summertime, by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, in which Smith delivers the line, You just finished wiping your car down. Perhaps this reference harkens back to a simpler time in the actor-musician's career, when he was still more connected to hip-hop. But the video gives us a quick shot of Smith washing his own car, something we doubt he does himself these days, especially not in an undershirt, socks, and sandals. And how time flies. Smith's kids Willow and Jaden also make cameos in the vid. Number 4. J. Cole Getting Soaked by Ray Shremmerd J. 
Cole might be one of the most respected rappers in the game, but he's an outlier in more ways than one. Whereas so many in today's hip-hop industry have crafted eye-catching, bold, luxurious, and vibrant visual styles for themselves, J. Cole has seemingly made a point of keeping his look simple and understated. And I brag hardly, but just to show up at this party I made with your nigga making one, yeah, that's unfair, but... And he's also expressed his distaste for a lot of the new generation's music. Visually, but also in terms of sound, there are few musical acts that make the division between J. Cole's generation and the one to follow more obvious than Ray Shremmerd the fun-loving duo seen here spraying their elder, only to get hosed down. Number 3. Travis Scott and Nicki Minaj Playing With Blocks This one isn't too hard to figure out. Nicki Minaj and Travis Scott are two big names in the industry, and both released 2018 albums within a week of each other. From Minaj's perspective, her album was a loud, proud, and musically diverse statement that she was the reigning queen of rap. I ain't trying to bust it open in the trailer park. But Scott complicated that declaration by denying Minaj the number one spot on the charts, ultimately claiming it for himself. Diamonds are the wife of life. They weren't shy about publicly feuding either, so their appearance in the vid takes the squabble back to more of a childhood playground scope. Feels Like Summer shows Nikki having carefully constructed a tower of blocks, only to have Scott undo her hard work. Number 2. Michelle Obama Comforts Kanye this is one of the most compelling scenes in the entire video. Though it lasts a matter of seconds, it says so much. Over the course of multiple American presidential administrations, Kanye West went from accusing President George W. Bush of not caring about black people George Bush doesn't care about black people to voicing his support for, or at least a willingness to figuratively embrace, the divisive politics of President Donald Trump. I just want to take a picture right now. By contrast, Michelle Obama has continued to be, well, the great Michelle Obama. As she hugs a weeping Kanye, it feels like a gesture of friendship and an invitation to rejoin the fight. Number 1. The Moment You Realize This Song Isn't a Celebration of Summer Surprise! Turns out Childish Gambino is challenging us as viewers and listeners by providing compelling visuals in the foreground to distract us from the actual issue. In doing so, he's making a poignant commentary about the nature of pop culture and celebrity. Pay attention to the lyrics of this track, and you'll realize that this is not exactly the feel-good jam it's masquerading as, but fundamentally a lamentation about global warming. And the obvious signs that our planet is changing quickly for the worse. Notice how Glover's character doesn't engage with any of the action around him? He seems fixated on a different destination. Maybe he really is leaving the music industry behind. I feel like somebody. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.